Welcome to an eye on AI. As we all know, Google and Salesforce recently expanded their partnership to deliver an integrated AI and data experience for organizations. At the heart of this expanded partnership is the integration of Google Gemini models and Salesforce Agent Force platform, which enables easier deployment of multi-model generative AI agents across any organization. But what does this mean for those organizations who rely on solutions from these two companies? What does it mean for players in the Google Cloud ecosystem? With Google Cloud Next around the corner, we have with us today Ian Hegerman, Principal Architect at Agent, to dive deep into this partnership. Ian, it's great to have you on the show. Yeah, great to be here. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. And today we are going to talk about the partnership, uh, expanded partnership between Google and Salesforce. What is your takeaway? What are the most important aspects of this partnership from Agent's perspective? Yeah, I, I think that the announcement really reflects how Salesforce and Google are, are both working to remove friction for organizations that, that are trying to scale their use of, of data and AI. For companies that you know, are already relying on both ecosystems, uh, I think what the partnership reflects is, is really um, the ability for, for those workflows to just become more seamless, especially around you know, customer data, analytics, AI. You know, for, for companies that may not be using Google Cloud today, I think it, it makes it a lot easier to leverage some of the, you know, just really incredible um, capabilities around generative and predictive AI and, and some of the other products inside the, the Google Cloud suite to drive, um, you know, customer engagement and, and experience in, in a meaningful way. And, and so for me, the, the, the real takeaway from, from the partnership is, um, both companies are just trying to make it easier to, you know, connect insight to action, right? Not, not always an easy thing to do. And, and doing that with less technical overhead and, and more flexibility and extensibility across the ecosystems. What does this partnership mean for those organizations who work with both of these technology leaders, particularly as they are accelerating their use of AI? There's a lot in the announcement of, of the partnership or kind of the expanded partnership that the companies have, have kind of been partnering for a while. Um, but the, a few key things to, to kind of call out, I think, are, you know, the, the ability to build and deploy um, multimodal Gemini um, generative AI agents inside of the Salesforce platform. Um, and, and ultimately, I think that that leads to you know, more context uh, aware agentic experiences directly within the CRM. And, and so that's a really compelling uh, storyline, I think, of the partnership, something that's not really possible today um, w without quite a bit of, of custom uh, coding. There, there's also some interesting capabilities with, you know, customer engagement suite used to be known as a CCAI and making that easier to connect into service cloud voice. Um, it, it, again, it's been possible to do that for, for a while now that I think the partnership just makes that much easier um, and, and being able to leverage like all of the great features of, of, of CES, like, you know, generative playbooks, the ability to hand off to live agents. Um, you hope that, that those, the, those features and functionalities drive, you know, more context aware service interactions, which kind of has a knock on effect of improving um, service KPIs. Um, I, I think when you there, there's other elements in there about integration, you know, tighter integration between Tableau and, and Looker, I think that focus is probably around, you know, semantic modeling. Um, and, and we're not just looking at it from the context of doing things with Google data inside of Salesforce. That's certainly a piece of it. Um, but we're also exploring ways to take Google's agent space offering, which has kind of come out, you know, into the market in the last you know month or so, and um, creating really compelling interactions with Salesforce. So from kind of an enterprise search and, and kind of agentic app perspective within Google, um, going the other way and allowing organizations to really get the, the most benefit out of their Salesforce investment. Um, and, and I see a lot of the partnership is, is building on some things that have been in place for the last year, 18 months, you know, around bi-directional zero copy architecture between, you know, Salesforce Data Cloud, which enables a lot of this partnership on the Salesforce side, 
um, and BigQuery and being able to bring vertex models into Salesforce Data Cloud. And, and, and so to me, you're starting to see a really compelling picture kind of come into focus on, on how the organizations um, are, are looking to work together to help, uh, to help their customers drive you know, meaningful outcomes um, and, and really improve, you know, whether it's retention or revenue or you know, customer service, um, but, but really drive um, you know, impactful um, results in those areas. What kind of new capabilities is this uh, partnership going to unlock uh, for customers that they should be paying attention to and they should start experimenting with them at this stage? Because uh, nowadays, you know, we live in an era, a lot of innovation is happening. So we have to keep our toes dipped in those technologies while also having very stable, reliable infrastructure as well. So talk about uh, what are the things that they should be paying attention to? What are the things they should be start playing with? It's a great question. I, I, obviously, with with the partnership, there's a lot that's that's new, and and I think they're defining the roadmap and and figuring out exactly what some of this is going to look like. Um, you know, I I think the the key thing for for organizations to be thinking about is is not just you know how can we sort of deploy AI for for AI's sake, but how do we connect AI to real business processes? Um, you know, not just as a standalone initiative, but thinking about you know, larger kind of customer and operational strategy issues. Um, the the things you can do today that are that are really helpful, I think, are you know focusing on data quality, understanding you know where do you have business processes that are ripe for innovation with AI. So things that may be you know constrained by headcount or sort of very manual, um, very manual processes. And and looking at things like what's available today for customers to, to start doing, I think agent space is a great place to start um, exploring and making investments in and um, in, in, you know, sort of grounding that enterprise search use case with with Salesforce data. Um, it's it's possible today to leverage Gemini models inside of Agent Force, and so that's you know if you've already got some some models built in your Google Cloud environment, you can you can leverage those today with with bring your own LLM functionality um, inside of Salesforce. But I think thinking through use cases where 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 would multimodal be really helpful and impactful if you have you know field service use cases or things that you need to capture audio video in an agentic experience. Um, identifying those opportunities early because I expect that there's going to be a lot of weight put behind in particular the, the Gemini and, and Agent Force um, part of the integration as, as both companies are, are, are leaning very heavily into you know, their, their sort of agentic suite of products. I want to bring Agent into the picture as well. Uh, first of all, talk a bit about uh, how is uh, Agent responding to this partnership? I see you know, really the the partnership is a validation of, of what we try to do already today with our customers of, of helping them unlock, um, you know, AI powered engagement with, with their customers as a, a trusted partner of both Salesforce and Google. Um, it, you know, the, the partnership in a lot of ways is, is really an extension and, and very much in line with the direction we've been heading down for, for quite a long time with our customers, um, which is ultimately, you know, helping them connect their, their data and platforms and AI investments in a way that, that supports, you know, the, the organizational goals that, um, that, that sort of drive their strategy. And, and so our, where I see our role is really taking the capabilities that are emerging out of the partnership and building solutions that are ultimately practical, right? First and foremost, but, um, but aligned with those, those organizational goals. And, and again, not just deploying AI because it's, it's kind of the new shiny thing, but, but finding ways to, to drive um, outcomes for organizations using the data and tools they already have, just helping them do that more effectively. What role is Agent playing in this ecosystem, helping organizations, you know, capitalize on these expanded partnerships to, once again, as you said, you know, to focus is on advancing their performance goals with Agentic AI? I think Agent is in a really unique position in, in the market, given our, we, we have really, you know, we've been a Salesforce partner doing Salesforce analytics work um, since our inception. And I think you couple that with our really strong expertise around application development, data, data engineering, um, you know, uh, generative AI um, in, in the Google Cloud ecosystem. And there's not a lot of partners out there that, uh, that are very deep in, in both of those ecosystems. And so I think we have a, a unique value proposition there. 
I think another unique aspect of, of how Egen is tackling this problem is, is really, um, is really coming to market as, as one company and one team that we th were thinking really hard about, you know, not just being a Salesforce partner and not just being a Google Cloud partner, but how do we be the partner that does uh, the intersection of those ecosystems better than, than anyone else. Um, and, and I think that we've, we've built a really solid, you know, bench of experience um, in, in both ecosystems and, We've been thinking about this, you know, well before the partnership, as we, we saw it as a really compelling opportunity um, as, as, you know, these things started coming out, you know, 12, 18 months ago. And, and so we're not, we're not sort of starting from scratch here as the announcement, you know, came out earlier this year, this expanded partnership. We've, we've been building solutions and, and kind of working this into our, our go-to-market strategy and how we help customers for, for quite a long time. And, and so I think we, um, we've got the benefit of, uh, of having thought about this um, really deeply um, from, from uh, you know, really who we are in, in our DNA as a company. While the impact will be industry-wide, but are there any specific industries or specific use cases which you feel are likely to benefit more from this partnership in, in near term? Yeah, it's a great question. I, I, you know, I think the, the easy answer is there, there's value for any industry, right? Whether that's tech, public sector, healthcare, but industries that I think are poised to benefit immediately are those that manage a high volume of customer interactions. So think financial services, healthcare, retail, um, those are really well positioned to, to benefit early. What all of those have in common is a need to connect that high volume of data and, and decision making more tightly and, and kind of more rapidly. And the, the partnership allows that to move forward in a, in a more integrated and meaningful way. These days, uh, organizations are becoming very, very cost uh, sensitive. Uh, I'm not looking at cost cutting, but cost efficiency. Uh, what impact will this partnership have on as organizations also try to become more cost efficient? Yeah, I, I think kind of going back to an earlier point, the to me, one of the main benefits of the partnership is helping organizations use the data and tools that they already have and, and doing that in a more effective way. And so a great example of that is a lot of organizations have important data that lives outside of their CRM. And but the 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 business needs that data to both understand um, you know, who their customers are and what are they doing and, and how best to serve them. And so rather than having to go through kind of an arduous process of, you know, copying data into Salesforce or, or what have you, you can leverage capabilities around, you know, zero copy integration that exists between the platforms. So you're not paying to move that data. You're not having to go through expensive and, and kind of error prone um, migration activities. Um, and so for me, I, I really look at it as, um, Rather than just sort of a you know a, a cost to the business, it's really about uh, allowing those organizations to benefit from what they have, right? Without having to kind of duplicate and go through the process of um, of, of putting all of this together in a way that um, you know doesn't isn't sort of, sort of tightly integrated. Google Cloud Next is almost here. Uh, what uh, kind of discussion? What can we expect? to see in the context of this partnership at Google Cloud Next? And uh, uh, what can we see uh, Eden doing next from, once again, perspective of this partnership? Yeah, really looking forward to, to Google Cloud Next. I, I, I expect that we'll, we'll start to see kind of a clearer picture of, of how the partnership is evolving, kind of meat on the bone, if you will, a little bit. Um, I, I, I really expect um, some interesting announcements around, you know, Gemini and, and Agent Force. Um, I think that that's a really meaty part of the partnership. And so really looking forward to that. Uh, from from the eGen perspective, you know, we're, we're coming to next prepared to show how we're already uh, rolling out these capabilities across key industries and, and helping clients activate them quickly uh, and just continuing to invest in, in building solutions that are, you know, first and foremost, industry aware and, and to um, solve um, problems that, that are meaningful to organizations and, and built on, on the joint ecosystem. You know, for, for me, the, the best part of, of Next is, is talking with clients and, and ultimately, you know, looking forward to hearing from them on, on how they're responding to 
this partnership in, in areas where they think it could have a meaningful impact um, for, for them and their teams. And talk about agents' presence at this event. What clients can expect from you folks there at the event? Yeah, where Eden is is uh, going to have a really strong representation, um, both across our, our kind of commercial and uh, public sector portfolios, um, running workshops, uh, a number of solutions that we've um, that we've already built and are sort of bringing to market that that align with this partnership. Um, so we have space at uh, at the House of Blues, right right next to the conference, and um, have meeting space available to to meet with customers um, at the event, and and so bringing um, the our our brightest minds from a from a technical perspective to to talk through these things with with our clients um, and and Googlers as well. Ian, thank you so much for joining me today and give a great summary, great analysis, great insight into this partnership and what does this mean for the larger ecosystem. Thanks for those great insights and I look forward to talk to you folks again. Thank you. All right, thanks so much.